Welcome back everyone, today we're diving into the power of atmospheric effects using the Ultra Volumetric plugin in Unreal Engine 5.5. This plugin allows for incredibly dense realistic fog that enhances the cinematic feel of any environment. Let's jump in and see how to set it up and tweak it to achieve these stunning results. Now, before we start, let's take a look to the Fab Unreal Engine's brand new marketplace. This is the plugin that I was talking about. It's a great tool for enhancing atmosphere and mood in your projects, and I highly recommend you to purchase for it. Now, let's come back to the scene. And as always, the first thing that I'm going to do is to delete the existing ultra volumetric effect. And it's in the ultra volumetrics folder and in the blueprint section, just simply drag this blueprint to your scene. Now guys, let's tweak some of the key parameters to quickly achieve the best volumetric fog effect for this scene. The first parameter that I want to tweak on is presets and it contains predefined settings to quickly apply a specific volumetric fog look. And once you choose any of them, you can just simply apply the preset and see how it looks like. Now, here we have quality presets, which adjust the balance between visual quality and performance. And as you can see, I've just set it on ultra. And let's move on. Here we have randomization seed, which changes the noise pattern by randomizing its distribution. And already some of the key parameters will change by this randomization. And next we have noise patterns which determines the texture and look of the fog's noise, you can set on the noise presets and also the pattern mixer blends different noise patterns for a more unique fog effect. And if I scroll down, we have the shape type, which defines the overall form or structure of the fog volume, which you can set it on sphere or box. Then we have shape edge effect, which controls the softness or sharpness at the edges of the fog shape. And then here we have opacity, which adjusts the transparency or thickness of the fog. And let's move on. Self shadow amount controls how much the fog casts shadow on itself. And the contrast of self shadow adjusts the intensity of the fox self shadow, as its name indicates. Now, let's take a look to the noise scale parameter, which changes the size of the noise texture in the fog in different axes. And then we have noise contrast, which increases or decreases the difference between the light and dark areas in the noise, and noise multiply intensifies the overall noise effect within the fog. And the next parameter is panning speed, which controls the movement speed of the fog's noise pattern in different axes like X, Y, and Z. And finally, we have the color, as we saw on different blueprints and plugins. It defines the overall tint or hue of the volumetric fog. And that's it for today. By tweaking these parameters, you can achieve stunning volumetric fog effects quickly and efficiently. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more Unreal Engine tips and tricks. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.